Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Art with 100 Cues and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the five musts for tracing images in Procreate. Let's go. This is the photo that I'm going to be using as an example. This is my dog Rosa and yeah, let's go. So the first thing that you need to make sure that you're going to do is make sure that the opacity is lowered of the photo because otherwise the lines on top are just going to get lost and it makes it really hard to trace. So this is a really big thing, like you need to make sure that you're doing this. And um, I'm guessing a lot of you already are. So on the layers, you're going to go ahead and click on the end of that photo layer. And now where you see opacity, you can go ahead and drag that down. Now I suggest about 30 to 50%. I used to, I like to go with 40 because it's in the middle. But then again, it also depends on the color. So if it's like a lighter photo, then you also, then you want to make sure that it's like not too low. So 30 to 50% is a good range. Now another good thing that I like to do is I like to go on the layers and I like to lock this photo layer. So this way I can't draw on this, on this layer, um, which is really helpful because if you have been tracing for a little bit, there is a good chance that you have drawn on the wrong layer and noticed too late. So um, a good way is to lock it, especially when you don't need to make any other like adjustments to the photo itself and it's just there to be traced. Um, now you are basically forced to add another layer on top to start drawing. Another thing you wanna make sure is that the brush that you're using to trace is, has a good amount of stabilization or streamline. And it can, ha it can have both, but like, you want to make sure that it has a good amount so the lines come out smooth and not too like sharp if that makes sense especially if you have like a wiggly hand and you start tracing really slowly it won't turn out amazing so that's why we have streamline and stabilization so we're gonna go to the brushes and I have created a new brush just to show this um, as you can tell we're gonna go so we're gonna usually it starts on the stroke path and then you're gonna go down to stabilization down here. Now you, here you can experiment with the streamline amount and the stabilization amount. Um, this is gonna make your lines more, like just smoother. Um, so I'm gonna do that. All right, and now you can tell how these lines are created smoothly. And that's amazing for tracing. Something that I cannot stress enough is that you do not want to overtrace. If you overtrace, it's going to look um, very, either very creepy or just not great. So you want to make sure that you trace the larger objects and then not go too far into the details. So for example, um, if I, I started tracing here, Have this but as you can see over here there's like this this if I drew that it would look it would be too much right so if I, I keep going you want to make sure that you only trace the important Important parts of the photo. So then here again, I mean, here, like any other normal dog, she had, you know, um, there's texture displayed in the image, right? Um, and you don't want to, you don't want to go too far into that, into that detail unless you're going like really detailed. But in this beginner level video, you don't want to go into that far of detail. It's going to look creepy or weird or in some way, um, unless you're really experienced in photo tracing, but definitely do not over trace because otherwise all I can say is that
that looks weird. This last one is not really much of a must. It's more of a use this to your to your benefit. Now, I must say that um, you don't want to abuse this feature. Um, use it wisely. However, I'm still going to show you how it works. So, um, when you go to the wrench and then click under add, instead of clicking on insert photo, you're going to just swipe it. Now you get the secret option, insert a private photo. And you're going to click on it. Now, you can find the photo. I'm going to find the one of my dog. There we go. Now, it looks like a regular photo. Let me just zoom in on it a little bit more. Let's put it to the canvas. There we go. That works. Um, it looks like a regular photo, right? But um, when you go to the layers, it's private. And this is the only way you can do this, just so you know, like that is the only way you can insert a private photo. Um, now I'm gonna drag the opacity down a little bit to that, like that, about 50%. I'm gonna add a new layer and I'm gonna start tracing. Okay, so now that you have finished tracing, um, obviously this is not finished and it is not like the most detailed or um, best tracing of the image, but um, I have finished tracing. And now I wanted to go, you know, check out the video, like the time-lapse replay. So we're going to go to the settings, to the video, and the time-lapse replay. And as you can see, the photo is not showing up on the video. Again, please do not abuse this feature. I like it. It can be used in a good way, but it can also be used, quickly used in a bad way. So, um, use it wisely. And that'll be all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I also hope to see you next Sunday with my next video. Have an amazing day. Bye.